Donald S. Rugoff, or Mr. Rugoff, as he was called by everybody who worked for him or knew him, was probably the greatest distributor of independent and art films in the 1960s and 1970s. He was really drawn to filmmakers who were passionate filmmakers. He had exquisite taste. He was very good in occuparsi of many European in America. Nobody else would have chosen those movies. He was really good at what he did. The greatest exhibitor this city has ever seen. He wanted his theaters to be different than any other theaters in New York. They were like temples of the arts. My first job in the film business was working for Rugoff. I realized years later that everything I know about the film industry, I learned from this guy. But I had real mixed feelings about him because he was kind of a terrible person. Reviled and feared. God, he was a piece of work. Thorny, difficult man. Crazy person. As the years went by, Rugoff began to loom larger in my life. And I was feeling bad that I had lost touch with him. He was really self-destructive. You know, if I didn't know anything about drugs, I would have thought maybe he was on drugs. Didn't people say there was a plate in his head? Was there a plate in his head? But more or less, there was an element of folly that made me so expensive. I heard very little about him other than rumors that he had died penniless and was buried in a pauper's grave somewhere in Martha's Vineyard. So I decided that I had to get to the bottom of it. I have a question for you, Evangeline. Would you would you be willing if I um, if I were to come visit you to tell tell me some of these stories on videotape? Right. The thing is, of course, I may remember things that are not pertinent to what you want to present in a movie. I mean, I may remember more personal thing, events, you know, that happened. But um, you know, do you know how it started? <laughs> <laughs> 